Hello and welcome to part 13 in this look back at Resident Evil Zero. Um, when Billy decides to move, because I've just the way I filmed it, uh, recorded it. Um, I sort of what I do is I'll record it as it's loading, and I haven't cut, I haven't edited it very well. It's not a big problem. Um, I've just got to pick up some grenade launcher ammo now, I think. Yeah. Um, and then we got a boss fight. This is one of the, this boss is really really weird. It, it does seem pointless, though I think it. it well, I'm not sure if it does have a pur well, it does have a purpose, but it just seems a really pointless purpose. Um, but if it does what else, I think it might do because it doesn't actually. I'll have a look in a minute actually because I've been questioning this. I was thinking about it after I recorded this part. I imagine you can see that's a giant bat. What I was questioning earlier was, I thought it might break the roof in because you have to go up on the roof in a minute. Um, but that's obviously not the case because I think in the last part it showed the roof was open. But I can't say for sure, and I totally forgotten. I wasn't sure if that was the purpose. And the biggest problem with this boss for me is the auto aim uh, doesn't do you any favors. It does and it doesn't because sometimes it'll lock onto the big bat, but in a minute you might see some little bats. Um, and the problem is it likes to lock onto the little bats. Um, but uh, in some ways it's not a problem if my theory is correct because this battle seems it's more of a time thing than it is a damage based thing uh, because in a minute I think I hit the bat and like three or four seconds later it falls to the floor but it's it, it looks as if it's died on its own not because I shot it and um, so it does feel a little bit timed I mean other times I've not hit it for quite a bit and it's well I'll say a couple of a few more seconds and it, here we go it just drops to the floor not just randomly, so I don't know if it's timed or it, it takes the damage, like when you shoot it, it all counts eventually, so I don't really know what's going on there. Right, we can now switch over to Rebecca who's outside standing on a pressure pad to open the door. Now this is the only thing that it, this boss seems to do is that you don't need the pressure pad and Rebecca can walk into this room. Because uh, she was unable to get in there before, because you had to stand on a pressure pad to unlock the door. And the only reason I sent Billy in was because he had the shotgun at the time. So it just seemed a better way of doing it. And I mean, I know Rebecca is, well, according to the manual, the playing manual at the start, uh, Rebecca's a lot more weaker than Billy. Uh, she's got a lower damage threshold. But which that was the same with Jill, I think, in Resident Evil 1, as I said before. Um, the GameCube one. I'm not too sure if there is a system like that. The only system on the original Resident Evil is that Chris has less item slots compared to Jill. That I'm aware of. I mean, other people used... Uh, I think a lot of my friends at school, when I was playing it, speculated that they had there was a damage thing. But I didn't really believe it. I mean, there's no evidence to suggest it for me either, so... I mean, in the GameCube remake, I, th I think that is the case. I could be wrong. All right, now we need to just go and flip a switch uh, to uh, bring up the elevator so we can go into the next area. Um, you can actually use... Billy can actually use the hookshot, but I tend to send Rebecca... Because I'm not sure if it's certain places he can use it, because I have seen... A video where he used it in the bit coming up in a minute. I have to say, for a game that's nine or ten years old, depending on where you live, um, that looks absolutely. The graphics on this look absolutely phenomenal. That scenery looks absolutely amazing. I mean, I remember the first time I played uh, Resident Evil One on the GameCube. It absolutely, the graphics were absolutely astounding. And it's really kind of a shame because seeing that, it felt like the GameCube was capable of more. Uh, graphically wise because um, a lot of the games didn't I wouldn't say look crap that's a bit harsh um, but they didn't look as good as Resident Evil did um, but I mean most well a lot of the game there was a lot of GameCube games I didn't really play because it was I, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of Nintendo stuff because there's quite a few games as there's I, I do enjoy but I mean I'm not a massive fan of Mario I, I I've played some of their Mario games and quite enjoyed. I enjoyed Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube, um, but I'm more of a Sonic person really because I grew up with Sonic and Sega. Um, but I did feel like the 
you know, looking at what Resident Evil 1 and this can did. I know this is the Wii version, uh, but I don't. This doesn't look like it's got any changes. Uh, well, it doesn't need it, obviously. Um, it just felt that the GameCube was capable of more, really. I mean, I don't know which was the actual best graphical out of the three. Um, I know a lot of people say, were saying it was Xbox. Um, that might be the case. I really don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I was just, you know, using that just to say that, you know, it's amazing how good the graphics look, really. Well, I'm just going to move some items. Uh, cause we're gonna, well, I, I do use the grenade launcher. You, you don't really have to. I just choose to. It, it just, it's just... Well, it seems I've got a lot of grenade launcher ammo. Um, and it's a quicker way of dealing with certain enemies uh, that you might see in this part. It's, it, might be, it might be more in the next part, I think. Um, but there's a, a thing in a minute where you get the choice to send Rebecca or Billy. This is what I've seen. And um, I sent Rebecca up first anyway because I like went through this bit because I was trying to figure out uh, where to go uh, before I recorded it. And... Um, I sent Rebecca up, and uh, there is actually. It's, I I think it's easier to send Rebecca up because it, let's just say it saves you a lot of backtracking, and you won't have to face the monkeys. It's quite a crafty puzzle, actually, in some ways. I'll explain more when we get into the building. I think it's in this part. If it's not, it will be in the next part. Well, I hope it's in the next part. Um, because I think the next couple of parts, like from this to the, uh, well, I don't really want to spoil it, but uh, it's, it was all this is all done over a day, but, uh, basically, and I think the whole video is about 50 minutes, um, 56 minutes, I think it is. Um, so I'm, from that, I'm guessing it's in the next part. Right now, we've brought all that forward. Um, Rebecca's going to need this shotgun in a minute if I send her up. Um, you probably won't find out in this part, it probably will be the next part or the part after that, probably about part 14 or 15. Um, but where I am at the moment, where I've saved the game at the moment, it's looking, I remember that part being the end, so I don't think it's too much more to go, which is good. I mean, it's going because I'm really getting into it, but it's good from getting the video done. I have started recording Resident Evil 1 uh, ready, so... I might. I was actually thinking of doing them at the same time, but it might be a bit confusing. Um, so I might start writing or saying, you know, silly things about the wrong game. So I decided not to do that. Um, I'll see how I go with that though, because if it helps speed things up, then uh, it's finding the time to really do these videos is the problem. That's the biggest problem, really. Right, here's where the puzzle is. I think there's a memo. Ah, oh, there we go. It's really hard to see, but I knew it was there. Um, um that's... I think that was ripped out of the other part of the... Uh, it's Marcus's diary too, but... I don't think he had a second diary, I think that was a page taken from the, his other diary. Well, from his diary. Um, it's saying about, this is the puzzle I was talking about, it says about a stripping agent. Uh, you'll find out more about that in a minute. But he says none of Spencer, that's like the the big cheese, as it is of Umbrella. I think he's like the the main man behind it all. Uh, you find out more about him in Resident Evil 5, really. Um, and a little bit about him in Resident Evil 1, I think. Um, but anyway, he says that no one will figure out how to do the thing. We get to figure that out. Um, as long, well, as long as you send... Well, you can send Billy, but as I said, it's a lot. It makes things more difficult with Billy, I find. Well, no, I suppose it doesn't, actually. Actually, yeah, no, it might, yeah. It will. Well, I'll just send Rebecca up. Basically, there's two canisters of chemical. There's a red and a green. thing is only Rebecca has the container to hold them um, and the problem is if you send Billy only the green ones downstairs where Rebecca is so she can only get the green one and um, but you need the red one oh no sorry the red ones downstairs um, and the green one the only way you'll get the green one if you send Rebecca up is uh, don't send Rebecca up sorry 
and I'm talking over a memory, I do apologise for that, um, I didn't mean to. Um, but the only way you'll get the red chemical is, uh, the green chemical, is if you go back into uh, where the chessboard was, the room there that I didn't go in because it was pretty pointless. Um, well, I didn't know that at the time, uh, but there was green chemical in there. But um, luckily, if you send Rebecca up, the green and red chemical is up on this floor. So it'll save you a lot of time, really. So you better off sending Rebecca up. Only problem with that is there's a lot more monsters on the top floor compared to what's on the bottom. Um, I can't really, I don't want to spoil it. Um, but I think that you get one of those uh, leech zombies on both floors, so that, that's not really an issue. I was real, because I was using the Wii remote for this part, because um, I did have the GameCube controller, but um, I, had, I just. I just had the Wii Remote in my hand and didn't really think to pick up the GameCube control and I just carried on. Um, I thought, oh, because I, th I, th I, I think you can change mid-game, but I just, I thought, oh, I'll carry on with the Wii Remote. I wasn't too sure how to do it, um, so I just carried on. I was really struggling to get that bottle, uh, but luckily I got it before he did any serious damage. Oh, I'm going to have to go and drop some items off um, and come back for that, because we need it again in a minute. It's actually quite funny because um, I couldn't find where the red canister was on the top floor. Um, like I was just going through it again. Well, I was going through this part and when I was like checking, um, I couldn't find the red canister for the life of me. And this is where I looked it up on YouTube, just sort of out of interest because I remember doing it uh, before because I only had a quick look and I just thought I'd just get a little bit more progression just so I could, you know, know where I was going. And I couldn't remember where it was from the life of me and. It is really hard to see, but um, I'll show you where it is. Well, you'll see it anyway because I have to get it. So it is really worth sending Rebecca up, really, as I said. I mean, the monsters she has to face aren't too bad. I mean, the zombies are pretty easy. Um, and the other two things are pretty easy to deal with. As long as you've got the shotgun because of the burst fire. Right, now I should be able to go and get the leech thingy. Uh, there's two leeches. There's a green and a blue one. The blue one you have to send to Billy. Oh, another tip I meant to add, actually. When Billy leave, if you leave Billy or Rebecca, whichever one you decide, I mean, you're better off leaving Billy down, but that's entirely your choice. Um, make sure that whichever member you leave, well, whichever party, well, whichever character you leave downstairs has got attack on because there's a zombie that wakes up. Um, and I kind of... Didn't realise and all I heard was Rebecca, Rebecca. Um, and then I switched to Billy who was getting attacked. So make sure that the partner thing says attack and not idle. And then you'll, whoever will automatically deal with the zombie. Right, all we need to do now is get the stripping agent to get it out. Um, and that'll be in the next part because this part's drawing to a close. So thank you very, very much for watching. And hopefully you will join me for part 14. Oh yeah, we need to get the hookshot first.